And there's also a sort of a, a, a madman's, uh, a, you know, a crazy person's determination just to keep going and, and not give up. Um, and a kind of rage, there's a deep rage in Voldemort against the world. Um, funny enough, when I saw my nephew, Hero, who played the young um, Tom Riddle, Voldemort, in, uh, he, he, uh, he, he has such a wonderful quality of a, a, a boy's loneliness because the world has rejected him, which is the beginning of a sort of rage against the world. I, I often remember that scene that Hero played because it was... Um, it's a good reference for that little, only isolated boy who's decided he will not be defeated. As anyone who is evil doesn't probably think they're evil. They think they have a sort. Of, they think they have a a way, a way of seeing the world, which is their their way. It's the right way. It's the way that'll work. The world works better if it's done like this, my way. Well, it's a very real threat. I think that he will destroy or Harry's friends if they try to protect him. So I think Harry is heroic. I think he makes a very real threat. You must come. He can't get Harry because of the, he's protected by, he's surrounded by allies. So it's his way of getting the person he wants. And I'm actually up close and I'm actually got him by the throat and hitting him or kicking him. So it's actually physical, very physical. It's, it goes, then there's this moment when I, we haven't, we started doing it when Harry grabs me and pulls me off the battlements, pulls me by the neck. And we're turning and turning in a sort of twisting um, entanglement of spirits and bodies, fighting and wrestling and falling to the ground crashing into the courtyard and um, and exhausted. And then there's this final moment, but both kneeling for this high noon final moment, completely covered in filth and dust, and, I've, and I, my face is bleeding from where Harry's hit me, and where we crawl towards our different wands, 